Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss McCourt. I would like to do a read aloud with you today, and it is a nonfiction read aloud. I would like you to look. I know it's kind of small, but this is the book. The cover is called Squirrels. The cover is called Squirrels. So I wonder if this book is going to be all about squirrels and what is it going to teach me about the squirrels? Hmm, I wonder. This is the title page and it tells me again, it's a different picture and it tells me squirrels. There's the title and it says zoom in on backyard animals. Huh. So I know I see lots of squirrels in my backyard. I bet you, you do too, or you at least see some squirrels. The author is Leo Statz. Okay, it's in small print down here and it doesn't say written by, but I know that that's the author because of where it's written. Let's go ahead. Let's do a quick picture walk like we always do. And I'm going to look at the picture and I'm looking to see, hmm, I see a very pretty squirrel sitting on a rock. Looks like maybe there's some green moss or I don't know, even some of that white. I don't know if that's snow or maybe some sand or salt. I don't know. Depends on where that squirrel is. Okay, over here I see the squirrel and his bushy tail and it looks like he's on a tree branch and it looks like maybe he's eating something. And then I see over here, I see a close-up. I know that's a text feature. They do a close-up picture and it looks like their teeth, teeth are very, very sharp. And then over here, it looks like there's snow on this poor little squirrel. It looks like a different type of squirrel. And again, it's on a tree branch. And they also have a map. We learned a lot about, a lot about maps. A lot about maps. Let's see what else. Okay, we also have where the squirrels are um, in, looks like a, a nest in a tree. And then also a squirrel in a hole. I wonder about that and I see all kinds of grass and the grass doesn't look like it's green so maybe it's not during the spring or summertime. Hmm. Then again we have headers and then also I see this squirrel in a tree and it looks like maybe he's eating something. I don't know what he's eating. And look at those claws in, on his feet. Oh my goodness on his paws. My goodness, and look at that big tail. Wow. Okay, and also on this page, I see a picture inside of a picture. That's another text feature. And I see the squirrel eating nuts, and then I see lots of nuts underneath the tree. Oh, very interesting. I wonder if that tree is the tree that has those kind of walnuts on it. Okay, then again, I have another header or a chapter. And then on this page, well, this page, I see little squirrels peeking their heads out. And it looks like it's a pretty blue sky day. And it looks like they're starting to be buds on the trees. Hmm, maybe it's getting near springtime. And then over here, there's a baby squirrel. Look at that little baby squirrel. So tiny, so tiny. Then they have, um, again, squirrels climbing the tree. And I see that this is a kind of a small squirrel, so I wonder if it's a baby squirrel. Okay, I'm going to go back and we're going to read this amazing book about squirrels and see what we can learn. Okay, squirrels. Squirrels is my header. Squirrels are rodents. They have long, bushy tails. There are many kinds of squirrels. And there again, in the picture, it shows me the squirrel. And it's only one type of squirrel. Hmm. And it's a rodent. A rodent is a type of animal. Again, here's a header. It says body. It looks like the body of the squirrel. Squirrels can be many colors and sizes. They have big eyes. They do have big eyes. Their front teeth are large. Oh, we noticed that from our picture walk. They have very large teeth. Don't you agree? Yeah. I do too. And look at the cute nose too. Okay, this header is called Habitat. This squirrel looks like it's winter time. Squirrels live in many places around the world. They live in grasslands and forests. Some even live in Arctic areas. 
Arctic is where it's very, very cold most of the time. This is a map, and where all the yellow is, is where the squirrels live. Okay, that's where the squirrels live. There's a map. Some squirrels make nests in trees. There's the nest. And that's a picture inside of a picture again. Others dig homes in the ground. Yeah, he does. He has a nice little home in the ground. Here's another header. Food. Squirrels mostly eat nuts, seeds, and grains. Grains are like wheat and oats. Sometimes they eat eggs and insects. Hmm, see? Bugs. This one looks like he's eating some kind of a, a nut or a fruit. Squirrels forage for food, which means they look for it. They have to look for it. They eat some food right away. They store the rest for winter. There's another picture inside of a picture. It's nice and close. The life cycle. There's another header. There's some, they're peeking out of the hole. So squirrels are born in nests or in holes in trees. Baby squirrels are tiny and blind. Blind means they can't see. Their mother takes care of them. Later on, the baby squirrels leave the nest. They find their own homes. Some squirrels live alone, but others live in groups. Squirrels can live up to 14 years. Here's some information. The average length for shortest, average length shortest, an American pygmy squirrel is shorter than a basketball. The average length or longest, an Indian giant squirrel is longer than a basketball. Wow, that's, that's a big difference. Okay, then we have our glossary. We have the words that are in the book that were in the bold. Just in case you didn't know what they were, what they meant, this can tell you what they mean. Like the forage, to search, especially for food. Like I said, to look for food. Then we have an index, again, which is another text feature, where you're looking at, maybe you want to find out about their teeth. You can go right to page seven. Well, boys and girls, that's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And I look forward to seeing you soon.